Hi, dear friends, Larry here. Um, please see this special news piece that ran out of Fox 31 News in Denver, Colorado many times about yoga after 50. And then afterwards, see a nice free offer from Yoga International for my new Yoga After 50 videos. Well, health experts have said older people are more at risk of serious health complications from COVID-19. So the more anyone older than 50 can stay home, they say the better. That does make it tough, though, for older adults to get enough exercise. Fox 31's Ashley Michaels has some tips now from the experts. Walk off the left and exhale right. We all breathe 24-7, 365. So while we're cooped up inside, Dr. Larry Payne says, why not make it count? If you do this like 10 to 15 times, you will really make a difference. He's doing an advanced breathing technique that's actually a form of yoga. According to yoga, this is really good for your immune system. He's been teaching yoga for 40 years and now specializes in yoga for people over 50. They still got some wind in their sails. You know, they just want to be active, want to be able to go to a yoga class and not get injured. He says nearly 30,000 people have gone to the emergency room in the last 10 years just because they attempted a style of yoga not suited for their body. You don't have to do the hard postures to get the benefits of yoga. And no pain, no gain is a really bad idea, particularly uh, for uh, older people. Dr. Richard Usatine co-authored a book about yoga therapy with Dr. Payne. He says the joints most at risk of injury for older people doing yoga are the back and knees. I would always start with the breath, and then from there, uh, any movement that you can do. It. Both doctors agree yoga focusing on your breath is not only good for physical health, but during stay-at-home orders, it's good for your mental health, too. These kind of breathing techniques send a text message to your parasympathetic nervous system to chill. <laughs> and the best part is, he says anyone can do it. All you really need to be able to do is concentrate, breathe, and relax. Ashley Michaels, Fox 31. It's a good way to relieve some of the stay-at-home stress.